Hello viewers and our dear listeners. Today we want to take you through the process of making hay locally at our farms and with uh, different uh, uh, pastures and low-cost technologies. So we have different pastures here uh, that we are going to use uh, for making our hay today. We have uh, uh, Bracaria Molato here. Uh, we have uh, Alfalfa here. Uh, we have Chloris Guyana here. And uh, we have Lablab here. So these all have different uh, food nutrients. Uh, for instance, uh, chloris has a higher content in fiber, alfalfa has a higher content in protein, and uh, uh, bracaria has uh, both fiber and protein, uh, lablab has uh, magnesium, calcium, and other micronutrients, and so we have uh, our low-cost hay bella here, as you can see it. And we have uh, our ropes ready within uh, the hay bella. Uh, these hay bellas are available at our stores. They are about uh, 65 USD sold at that amount. So you can get to us and we avail you these bellas. And these pastures, uh, the seeds and cuttings, are also available with us but uh, most of you who have grown them uh, you can use this technology to keep uh, your pasture we encourage this type of uh, keeping pasture because uh, most times during the dry spell our animals normally have uh, issues with uh, nutrition uh, either gra grazing grounds do not have enough uh, feed and so during the uh, rainy season, we normally keep uh, some of this uh, pasture to use during the dry season. And uh, as you may know now, uh, the dry matter is really very, very good for the animals because once they eat this, they are able to uh, drink more water and uh, put on weight but because most of the hay that we also buy uh, is always a single pasture uh, but once you make at your farm it is very easy for you to balance the dirt like we are going to do here so uh, i am going to request uh, the team members here to do the initial action which is uh mixing of all these uh, pastures but before then uh, the drying has to happen in uh, a place that has no sunshine as you are going to be showing you so uh, the bedding process is the one that we are going to start with uh, the team members here are going to be mixing uh, the pastures uh, that I've showed you here. So the mixing can start. Uh, mixing uh, of uh, chloris, mixing it with alfalfa, and mixing it with uh, bracaria, molato. And uh, as they mix uh, different uh, uh, pastures, uh, you will be able to see uh, other steps as we are putting in the hay baler and compressing so that uh, at the end of the day we have something that is ballast in diet. Ballast in diet. We can have all of them mixed at once so that we start uh, the compaction process. Mix all of them at once so that we start the convection process. 
So that's the whole process uh, that we are undergoing, step by step. The mixing is ongoing of all the grass. The next step we are going to be uh, putting in the bela and starting on the combustion uh, process. Uh, this is very easy, farmers. You can do it. And uh, if you want to have healthy animals, this is the way to go. Because at the end of the day, uh, this is a feed that is balanced in diet. This is a feed that is balanced in diet. And you are keeping it at home, drying it, uh, not under sunshine, especially in the different stores. There are other forms of storing it. Some of you who have raised goat pens, you can always use uh, the roof the rooftops to have uh, this kind of uh, pasture stored uh, so that it doesn't uh, have any effect with uh, the sun and any water. So we can start the compaction process, uh, put in some as we as you continue the mixing. Uh, the other people, you can continue the mixing as the compaction starts. So that's the process. We are now putting the mixed pastures in the hay bela, clearly there. And uh, for that first part, we are going to be compacting. And uh, we shall show you even when we are feeding our animals, uh, when we do uh, the first batch of feeding, we shall be showing you. And uh, because you understand the process. So that's the process of compacting process of compacting is ongoing make sure the bela is uh, not protruding down make sure the bela is not protruding with the pastures uh, you can add on more and compact again uh, look on the sides make sure the pastures on the side underneath are inside the bela Uh, you can add the remaining ones as well. Mix the remaining ones and add them at once. Look at the side of the bella down. Make sure the pastures are not protruding down. Okay? Very good. Uh, mix the last part and come back so that uh, we can see a balanced diet. These are not hard things to do. I know we have uh, automatic bailers which are quite costly but this low cost baler is uh, something that is very easy. Uh, you can drop your email, we can share the design wherever you are and if you are not able to make it we have already made bailers that we can deliver to you wherever you are. So that you can start making your own hay uh, with your own pastures uh, at home or at your farm. So what we have made is a mixture of bracalia, a mixture of chloris and uh, alfalfa. Of course at different, uh, at different ratios. And we also have uh, lab lab therein. And uh, the process is continuing. We can also compact there and then put the last bit. Compact. Compact, compact while 
pressing down. Yes, very good. Very good. Okay. Put the last bit. Put the last bit of the pasture. Whatever is remaining on the tarpaulin, let us put because it is all nutritious pasture that we are keeping for our animals. So we are doing the last bit of uh, compaction and then we tie. We shall also be able to show you uh, how heavy this uh, bell we shall have made is. So that you understand. This process is not hard. It is very easy. We are compacting so that air is not going through our pasture. You can see our compacted pasture. So now we are going to tie. We are going to tie uh, side by side and have our, our bell ready for keeping or storing. It's an easy process, but with the uh, old equipment, uh, you can have this done. It's all about nutrition. Uh, you cannot do goat farming or livestock farming without a plan on uh, nutrition and pasture. Yeah, so some of this pasture, some of you have already at your farms, uh, but it's all about adding value. As we go to the rainy season in most of your areas, it is good that you have uh, pastures planted and then uh, be able to add value to them because we tend to have uh, plenty of pasture uh, during the rainy season and then the dry season we have limited pasture. So this is one way of adding value to pasture in a low cost way and making hay uh, at your farms so this is what we call a hay baler and uh, what is being built is a bell of hay but with different uh, pastures of different nutritional value that make uh, a balanced diet and so once we shall be showing you our animals feasting on it, you will be able to really see how palatable it is. Uh, but also animals that feed on uh, dry matter, on hay, they will shine. They will look really very different uh, from uh, any other animals. They will take a lot of water. Uh, because they'll be enjoying this, uh, what we have made today. So you can make as many bells as possible during the rainy season and keep plan for the dry spell. So what the team is doing now is uh, tying of our bell uh, so that it can be ready for storing. You will leave one rope up so that we can pull it out when it is uh, in the shape of the bella. When it is uh, triangular or in that shape that we can see of the bell. We wanted to take this uh, step by step so that you can be able to follow all the steps 
whatever is not available here you can be able to get these ropes are uh, available in uh, all uh, hardwares at least uh, the baler as we have told you we have in stock uh, but we can also share the design so that wherever you are you can be able to make uh, your own and be able to uh, use at your home or at your farm I hope uh, this video helps you and if it has helped you please share please subscribe to our channels and please ensure that uh, we improve nutrition together for our animals at uh, the different farms so right now the team is almost through with uh, with tying the bell now we want to have it uh, lifted out so that we can make another so you realize as it comes out it will be in a box shape already belled and ready for storing share this knowledge and make sure uh, it reaches all farmers uh, struggling to make uh, the nutritional goals so you can uh, lastly you can just pull this out and uh, have the bell uh, our belt pasture out the way you can see already belt in uh, a box shape so it is going to be uh, stored now so we can take to the storage uh, facility within the structure thank you so much for watching uh, keep tuned and uh, waiting to see how the animals enjoy this pasture we shall be able to show you the all the bears when they are stored share widely and like our channel thank you minute farms limited